I'm Corbin Peterson. Welcome to Corbin Peterson Movie Reviews. Wait. What the heck? Why is it just static? Where the hell's my title? What the f What? Oh. Johnny Knoxville and Chris Pinus of the Jackass crew are back with Action Point. The plot of this movie is, even though I don't really think it needed a plot, a grandpa sits down with his granddaughter to tell her about the time that he owned one of the best amusement parks of all time. And when it jumps back to the 80s, the dilemma is there is a new park opening up and he needs to bring in new customers and then some hilarity happens and they have to kind of make some new attractions. This is trying to be made up in the same light as Bad Grandpa to where there are a lot of unscripted things, a lot of organic comedy, but also mixed in with some scripted things for a plot and to get the movie going and try to make you kind of care of what's happening in the film. I do feel like it misses what it's trying to go out and do. Bad Grandpa, I thought it was hilarious. Jackass, Jackass, I grew up when Jackass was huge, like in the early 2000s with Jackass, Viva La Bam, um, the Jackass movies, and all this stuff like that. Wild Boys. And the most fun I've ever had in the theater was going to see Jackass 3. I have never laughed so much in my life seeing that movie for the first time with my brother. One of the best experiences I ever had in the theater. Just the scripted and the organic stuff just doesn't mix well. The script is pretty weak. You just don't really care about the characters or this whole father-daughter relationship dilemma that's happening in the movie where you just want to get to the attractions you want to see the music part you want to see all the ridiculous stunts that are going to happen but i feel like they come too far in between to where the script is weak so it brings down the movie quite a bit but then when the stunts and stuff are happening it tries to level it out but then it goes back down again with the script and then i got back up a little bit down on the script stunts just it just it, it isn't enough it's not enough I wish there was more. There will be some positives I just have to give the movie. Johnny Knoxville and Chris Pineus, when they're just being themselves, you can really tell that they're being themselves and just enjoying what they're doing on the screen. Like when they are themselves, you love the movie. And also Pineus isn't a great actor, but he doesn't have to be. Like, these are two guys that have been in my life since I was probably like nine or 10 years old. And it's good to see them back. The stunts and the rides and stuff that they do, like that's funny. Keep doing those. That's what you built your success on. That's what you built your careers on. It's just this ridiculous stuff that you do. These stunts, jumping off of stuff, getting attacked by animals. That's all you need to do. I think this movie could have been improved if you just got rid of so much of the storyline. At the beginning of the movie, you'd be like, all right, there's new competition in town. We're going to go out of business. We need more customers. And then all it can be are just a few days at the park of them just trying out new stuff. So it's just stunt after stunt after stunt, joke after joke after joke, where it's organic and it feels, and it's funny. The script of stuff in here is just not good, and you don't care about it. You just want to see the stunts. My final thoughts on this are, if you're going to go to the movie and try to expect a great story, definitely not what you're going to get. Uh, I think you should go if you want to go see the stunts, but they still are very far in between of each other, and to where, you know, like I said before, the script takes the movie down. The stunts tried to help it out, but it just kind of misses. But if you want to go see the stunts, that's all on you. Like, go check those out because those are hilarious. That's what makes you love this jackass crew. And like always, with my videos, like it, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All my social media is down below. Follow my Instagram. And like always, I will catch you at the cinema.